there's a false teaching out there yeah, going back to the book of Genesis chapter 3, and I think it's very misunderstood. People are misapplying this story about the time where Adam and Eve, when Eve had that uh, serpent, you know, beguiling her and deceiving her, where he says in Genesis chapter 3, this verse is what Eve said, but of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest ye die. And Satan told her this, and the serpent said unto the woman, you shall not surely die. And people will say, see, he said, he's been teaching this lie of one saved, always saved, all the way back in the time of Adam and Eve. Well, let's look at what Jesus Christ has said, teaching that salvation is only by grace through faith. It's just believing that you cannot lose your salvation. You could die spirit, uh, physically, but you will not die spiritually because in John chapter 11, verse 25, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And verse 26 says, And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Well, let me tell you this. I believe that. I believe that I will never die spiritually. One day I will be away from this body. This body of mine, I am. it is going to die. But spiritually speaking, my soul is never going to die because I've already believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, you'll never die. You have everlasting life. Your body will die, but you won't die. And for those who don't believe that you can uh, gain eternal life and there's nothing you can do to lose it, those who don't believe and reject once saved, always saved, they make God a liar. And they're not making Satan a liar. They're making God a liar. Look at this. It says in 1 John 5.10, he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar. Because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. Verse 11 says that this is the record that God has given to us eternal life. Not temporary life. Not like that you can gain today and uh, lose tomorrow. That is not what the Bible teaches and that is confusion. How can you call something eternal that uh, if you something that begins today and you lose it tomorrow, how can you call that eternal? That makes no sense. Verse 11, let's read it again. And this is the record that God had given to us eternal life and this life is in his son. He that hath the son hath life and he that hath not the son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe in the name of the son of God that you may know that you have eternal life and that you may believe on the name of the Son of God. A lot of people will even say, like, only God knows who will go to heaven. You know, we don't know for sure. Only God knows. But you, this is right here. You can know for sure. And the way you can know is that if you believe the record that God had given to us, eternal life. And that is the record. That is his promise. It's not about what we do. It's about what God has already done. He gave us his son, Jesus Christ, down the cross for our sins and raised it again the third day. And he washed our sins away. If you believe on him, that's what the scripture teaches. You have a blessed night.